This is a class 9th ICT NCERT. This is chapter 1 Basics of Internet. In today's world, ever changing technological world, the globe is in our hand. The information is with us. We have a mobile, we have a say, laptop, and we all are connected to internet. Internet was evolved in 1969 under the project named ARPANET, which is Advanced Research Project Agency Network. And this is to connect the US Department of De Defense with the universities in the US. And soon, when the engineers, scientists, and students, and researchers, they get involved, they started exchanging the information and messages. So in 1990s, the inter networking of this ARPANET and NSFNet and various other private networks they formed the basis of internet. Therefore, the internet can be talked as the global network of computer networks. So, it comprises of millions of computing devices which are carrying, transferring information. Desktop computers, mainframes, these GPS units, the cell phones, the car alarms, the video game consoles, these are all connected with the net, that is the internet. World Wide Web. What is World Wide Web, WWW? The WWW was invented by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. In 1995, the first connection was established over what is known today as Internet. And by the end of this 1990, the first web page was served. And in April 1993, this WWW technology was made royalty-free to everyone on this globe. After that, web has changed entirely. This is the most powerful and useful communication medium that the globe or the world has ever known. The global web of computers, we also know it as internet, which allows us to communicate, to share information. This is called as World Wide Web. So it's very quick, fast, easy, dependable exchange of information way and this is the paradigm shift in the information age. So, World Wide Web is actually an internet-based service which has some rules or protocols on the background of it. Just to distribute the documents and other media across the internet. This www we can call just as web is actually the part of internet. There are so many things on internet. So, the web is viewed through your application program which is known as the browser. It can be Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. And using this browser, you can read documents, read articles, journals, ebooks, news, tutorials, and what not. And what all are stored in web servers. They are stored in web servers. So we have thousands and millions of web pages, websites. They are added to www every instance. What is the difference between the internet and www then? The internet is actually a network. So it's a interconnection of computer networks or you can say computing device. So it's a massive gigantic network. It contains millions of computers and they form a, a way to communicate between us. Computers are there, computing devices are there and they are connected to the internet. So this information they pass or they travel through the internet via a variety of protocols or rules and languages. So this www or web is simply web. This is just a massive collection of digital pages that are HTML pages, various pages to access information over the internet. So the web uses HTTP protocol, hypertext transfer protocol in order to transmit, send, receive data, right? In order to uh, exchange the business logic. So the web browser also uses or the web is being employed by browsers like the Internet Explorer, like the Firefox, like the Google Chrome in order to access the documents like just like your MS Word document. We have web document which are generally written in HTML and they are all linked together through hyperlinks and this pages contains graphics, sound, text, videos. Search engine. Now today everywhere we have Google. Why we know Google? Because it has changed our life. Whatever we put on the Google text, there is only one bar. 
with one edit bar you just place your content you want to find everything will be there you want to find a hotel you want to know some about someone you want to know the information about something you can just type in that in search engine but search engine is a very very complex program web search engine these we have spider you can call it as a crawler which crawls which crawls to different pages and with the pages of context they are being indexed they are indexed so we have another program which is called the indexer this reads the document and creates an index just uh, take an example of a book you don't go to a book and of 1000 pages to search your content you go to the index you search that content and just turn to that page which is the index here so each search engine it has a very complex you know you can say a page ranking algorithm which gives you the result about on the basis of the keywords you have entered so a search engine specifically has some order first we have a web crawler then all this indexing is being done then the searching is done you cannot search all the pages in the world you cannot it will take humongous amount of time so you need to have some some way algorithm to do it so web crawling this web search engines work by storing information about all the pages and those which are informative pages those are retrieved by the programmer known program known as web crawler or web spider which follows the links links hyperlinks when we have indexing as we just said about the book we have index so this will facilitate the fast and accurate retrieval information retrieval because if you don't have index there is no means there is no way how to how to go through all these thousands and lakhs of pages then we have searching searching this whatever query you place this will fetch the the content you have played and that are being crawled and indexed that information will come in front of you so these are all the search engines maximum we have given here they but there are so many you cannot have all of them google aol bing web crawler ask yahoo my web search info.com all these are search engines you know but it started all with you know at that time alta vista all these were there web servers what are web servers those which serve those which serve so these this web servers uh, is a combination of a uh, hardware and software but essentially it's, it is a software only so a server is that computer that will serve the client and the entire structure of the internet is based on client server model so web server helps to deliver web content through through the internet which can be accessed and the most common use of this web server is to host website web server is that place with that area that memory where you place your website and the internet is not only used for fetch the information but internet can be used for gaming data storage running business application so this is the idea of web server you have a web server program here we'll talk about that web server and this is a huge huge machine that contain that web server program and these are the clients different clients which through internet interacts with it 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 they ask for certain page it will return that page it asks for gaming it will render the gaming so the primary job of this web server is to deliver web page to client so the communication between the client this client and the server they take place using generally http hypertext transfer protocol in order to get the page so this delivered web page they may include images style sheets scripts audio video what not when we have server software when when we, whenever we are dealing with the web server we are talking about server software web server also known as application server or http server let me tell you that web server is different from application server actually web server is a part of application server so web server is a part of application server so this is a program that serves content using what protocol http protocol so this content is generally in the form of say html documents the images various resources it can include any any type of file the content which is served by the web pages they can be static they can be dynamic let us see some server software apache web server or you can say http web server this is from apache software foundation this is free and open source web server and this can be installed in various operating system most of the web server machines they run on apache web server then we have apache tomcat 
This is again a free and open source web server. This is again and this can run again on various operating system as listed here. So it was developed to support the servlets and JSP scripts, Apache Tomcat. So it can also serve as a simple standalone server. Lite PD, Jigsaw, there are various others. So Lite PD is a free web server distributed with free BSD operating system. So if you um, have a free BSD operating system in this, you will already have Lite, this L-I-G-H-T uh, TPD or you can say L-I-G-H-T-T-P-D. This is open source web server, quite fast, secure and this consumes less CPU power. It can run, run on various operating system. Then we have Jigsaw. This is World Wide Web Consortium Server, WWW. So this is introduced by WWW Consortium. This is a consortium which deals with web content. So it is open source and free and this can run on again various operating systems. This is written in Java, so it can run CGI script and PHP programs. So what are these services which are provided by servers? There are so many services which now web server provides. And these, today we have cloud computing. This uh, software as a service, infrastructure as a service. There are so many things which cloud computing provide. So cloud computing is a distributed computing over a network. So you can just buy an infrastructure, you can buy a software. Why to uh, purchase a software when you have a software which you can use on per pay basis. Per, uh, this is used, there is a large number of computers. This can be connected real-time communication on the internet. And this is how this service is various humongous servers provide you the service. So these web servers, they are cost efficient. They provide the resource sharing. They are they are providing the data sharing and of course the day backup and recovery if, if you are aware that if your things fall down or your system fall down you always have something to recover what are the type of server there are different type of server mail server the mail server they provide centrally uh, located pool of disk space for network to store and share the documents in the form of emails so since all the data is stored in one location, the administrator need only backup files from one computer. Then we have application server. Now this application server, because you are dealing with some application, every, every company has their own application. So this application server, it acts as a set of component accessible to the software developer through application programming interface API defined by that platform itself. For web application, these components are usually performed in the same running environment as its web server and therefore their main job is to support the construction of dynamic pages. FTP, when you want to send and receive files, large files, FTP file transfer protocol uses separate control and data connection between client and server. So FTP users may authenticate themselves in the form of say username and password but they can connect anonymously also from here to here. And for secure transmission, we have username password along with the SSL that is the secure socket SSL layer. We also have database server because most of the application they have database on the background. So this database server is again a computer program that provides database services to other computer programs or computers using client server model. So this DBMS or database management system, they provide database server functionality and most of the DBMS, they depend and they are on client server model for database access. So such server is accessed either through say front end running on the user computer where you create a request or you can have a back end where the request is served such as data analysis, storage, etc. Then we have domain name system, DNS server. So this name, this is basically a translation scheme. So the name server is a computer that serve or that is a computer server that will host networking services for providing response to queries. So it is actually a translation. Whenever you write something on say a web browser that www.yahoo.com is nothing by itself. It has a, a translation that is an IP address where this www.yahoo.com is being stored. Actually Yahoo is stored. Yahoo is the name of that folder which is kept in some IP. So the, it maps a numeric identification, we call it as IP or addressing component. 
So this service is provided by the server in response to network service protocol which is the request. So what is the primary idea or function of this DNS server? This is just the resolution or translation of human memorable domain names and host names into the corresponding numeric that which is the IP address where that Yahoo folder is stored. So the secondary function of DNS is to recognize a namespace of the internet in order to identify and locate the computer system and resources on the internet. So this is the first part we have taken. We will be taking more exemplified form of this in the later discussions. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.